Biden has announced 100% tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles. China. Yeah, China. And wait, former wait. President Trump reiterated his plan to put a 200% tariff on all auto imports from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to if you're going to do 100, I'm going to do, do 200 on the Mexicans. <laughs> They keep coming <laughs> here over the border. And why don't they stop? We're going to stop them. We're going to make a beautiful wall, a big wall. But you said you already was going to gonna be a better it's wall. It's going to be a better wall. I started a wall. I'm going to finish the wall. Um, they didn't give me enough time. So time. tariffs on China, tariffs, 100% tariffs. <laughs> yeah, isn't that just <laughs> sound crazy? 100% tariffs sounds insane. Okay, so 100% tariffs on EVs of China. And people don't think we're in World War Three right now? Yeah. Bruh, so here's the funny thing. The reason they're doing that is because have you seen the EVs that China has? What, what's happening? They have that this company BYD. Bring your own dicks. <laughs> Bring. I got nothing for that. I got nothing for it. <laughs> nothing for it. Check it out. The BYD. So they have the Han. The where's big the, decision? They have big design, big design. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure that's how they're gonna market this. <laughs> uh, where is it? So they have one car though. It's like it's called. This is like the sexy car they have. They have one called the Seagull. That looks really nice. No, it, bro, they they're doing their thing over there, and they have all the natural materials to make electric vehicles. Oh, really? Native. That's why native. they're. Oh, well, I mean, that's why we get all of the. That's why we get everything from there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, also yeah. the minerals to make uh, um, the batteries as well. Like, I mean, obviously, they're still yeah, sourcing. Yeah, no, in but... our phones, in uh, the Tesla, we still have to e export from there. Yeah. This is the one. The BYD Seagull. Bro, it's 9500 bucks. Whole car. And that's the problem. You said what? The BYD Seagull. Uh, 9500 bucks? Yeah. It, and it's a whole electric car. And they're selling them for that cheap. So the issue is America can't keep up. <laughs> of course not. So, We're not so, going to make anything cheap. So that's my point. So if you put 100% tariff, what does that put the car at? Uh, 20. You said 95. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying, though. That's amazing. Like, like 19. That, that's 19. still cheaper than every EV we have. And so that's why they don't really want them in here. So they're gonna they're gonna a hundred percent tariffs making it two hundred. Wait, so they they so they really are gonna just make it oh twenty thousand dollars. You're about, you're selling and they <laughs> exactly. So, so now it's the price of a Mustang. It's so evil. They're yeah, so evil. The starting price below ten thousand dollars in China. They're so evil. We're so evil. America's so evil. Uh, b below twenty thousand in Europe. Even after tariffs. They won't okay. even let people have... No. Crazy. I mean, it, bro, it's cheaper than your Prius. It's cheaper than my that, my Tesla. And now they're trying to do this whole thing where they want to... Remember how they gave us all these incentives? Yeah. For having... Yeah. Well, now More they're... More incentives? They're try, no, they're trying to reverse some of those things, especially in California. Because so many people bought electric vehicles, so now they can't tax the gas people because there's not enough gas people to tax. <laughs> you know, one of my luxuries that... Uh, simple, tiny, small luxuries is water. Oh, that's I, what I kind like, of water is that? It's called antipods. I this is the first time drinking it, tastes delicious. I really enjoy just trying new fancy waters. I bought the twenty five dollar water from Erewhon before. I, I'm sorry, don't. I tried it. Well, Mike is rich, ladies. I know. I, I just like. To try waters, everybody is like people like shoes. <laughs> I like water. <laughs> people like jewelry. People you know, like jays. People like J you know what I'm saying. I like water. Well, you know that's it's beneficial. It's actually for you. You know, and and, and, and water tastes like you know what I'm saying. It How tastes... much was that bottle of water? Eight dollars, nine dollars. Antipose natural artesian water. See, you always know when it comes in a in a glass bottle. It's like Voss. So good. It feels like it's probably ooh, like six dollars. Right? Six dollars. Maybe four. Maybe four, I'll say four fifty to six dollars. No, no microplastics. But I want you guys to see what my grocery. 
That means Lamica has less microplastics in his testicles than other people. Because it's in glass. There you go. I love glass. You, Voss, I don't know why Voss started putting... See, I'm, I really like water. Wait, they start putting in plastic? Yes! Oh, no, 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 no. no. Voss, whenever I glass to, grabbed a Voss bottle, I would say, Voss is for the boss. And because it's like, I feel... <laughs> He doesn't say that. I do. You don't say that. I don't, do. don't, don't tell people you say that. It's don't because tell you it's that. in the glass. It is strong. It is. It's really good. The fact that Voss is in plastic lets you know where this economy where we're is. going. Yeah, because like that That's was their bad. whole ploy. That was their whole thing. That's what made them Voss fancy. Voss was one of the first like things sexy I, water. Sexy Voss By was far. one of the first yes. sexy waters. When I saw, I knew even growing up when I was like 12, 13. When I saw Voss water in places, oh shit, I'm somewhere good. Like I'm working. You know I'm what doing I'm some shit. That's, you know, because yeah, yeah it's it's always gonna be Fiji. You know, Fiji's always gonna be. But that was the, the first one. Yeah, that was the, the first like the first sexy ooh. water. Ooh, it's Fiji. <laughs> you drink ooh. Fiji. My grandfather only drinks Fiji. He gets so angry when you drink his Fiji water. Like he counts them, and he's like, "You drank my Fijis," and it's like, "Bro, chill." I'll if you drink your Fiji, more. you should be able to get more Fiji. <laughs> Right? I mean, you know. I you think, think it's of. more so me just going in and just taking his Fiji's. It's more of me thing. He probably give it to everyone. But I just wanted to show what inflation is. Um, $444. Ralph's. Grocery store. Ralph's. Oh, I, when you said that, I thought you went to Whole Foods. No, or, or like some, or, um, or Gelson's or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I was in Gelson's and I was like, why would I spend all this money? And why wouldn't I just use my aunt's Ralph card? You know what I'm saying? It makes way point. more sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, I got essentials. $444. Yeah. Now, did I get like three Wagyu steaks? Two Wagyu steaks? Sure. But like, that's um, for me. And they <laughs> like, they, you know, I like, I like good steak and I like good water. <laughs> and no other luxuries. I don't have any other luxuries. What else were we talking about, Maestro? No, no. I'm just, I'm just thinking. I'm thinking about how, how groceries shouldn't cost that much. You should never cost. No, that like much. even when I just go to pop in, just to grab like one, one, two, three. It, you're 100 percent spending 50 or more. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's with buying no, nothing that you're like, ooh, this looks fun. Essentials. Like, no. Essentials. And it's like body wash, I, lotion. And that's what I, because I hadn't been in town. But this would have been two hundred dollars. Maybe. Oh yeah, before the pandemic. Years ago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It would be two hundred dollars three three years ago, three four years ago. Two two thirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was five hundred dollars. The only reason it went to four hundred and forty four is because I used the the Ralph's number. And right, it right. Dialed down. I think. Okay, I have always had a theory on that. I think that's bullshit. I think really what they do is. They just fluctuate the prices, and then they go, oh, we'll put this on sale for this. They're still making a pretty crazy markup, and then they just know how satisfying it feels to people when they see that. $40. Oh, I saved $40. You really ain't saved shit because well, you still got over. what about people that didn't do it? Then they just have to. Oh, they're clowns. They're at Gilson's in Ralph's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how backwards that is? That's, that's, like a nigga, that's like a nigga being in Costco, but in Target. Like what? At the same time? Why are there target prices at this Costco? It's ridiculous. I haven't even had my headphones on. This is hilarious. Dude, have you seen uh this is I just this is random as fuck. Here's a uh Tesla Cyber. It was so it made me so angry. <laughs> I was like, for real? Because I wanted that car. I, and it can't do that. <laughs> Yo, I know that nigga was heated, like, fuck I do now. You're stuck. This is this is where your car lives now. You need somebody to come in a 2013 <laughs> Ram. Tacoma Ram <laughs> to, Ford F-150 to, to drive around you, go up that hill, and then pull you out. Like you a fucking horse. A 2004 <laughs> fucking Ram could do that. Yeah. No, for sure. But I mean... This a 1989 <laughs> Chevy can do that. I don't know about all that. In movies, sure. Oh, somebody posted this. Yeah. Uh, there's so much neck there. And and, <laughs> I, and here's here's my And he has a collared shirt on. Oh, it's so much neck in this picture. It's like, wow. <laughs> but like, you don't know who I'm talking about. But it's just like you can pick 
But it's like the Jim Carrey neck. The Jim Carrey, and we love Jim Carrey. Uh, he's the best. Just like we love Caitlin Clark and we like Stabler. Check this out. I saw this video. It's Education is environmental in, science. NYU and students my name is Jacob, saying what they my graduated for. Education is environmental science and sustainable business. Hi, my name is Lex, and my concentration is the performance of self. Hi, I'm Gabrielle. My concentration is creative direction, production, and narrative. By, by the way, this isn't a joke. I, can it, I finish? Yeah, I've just listened to these these fucking professions the arts um performance and written work hi my name is karina gummis NYU. and my concentration yes. is in journalism and latin american studies that was good with an emphasis in human rights love it memory that's and amazing. political no, that's great did you hear the first thing stephanie lee and i studied the sociology of environmental communication hi my name is reed and i that's study music that's business that's and gender studies Hi, yeah. my name is Dominique, and I studied care politics with a minor in disability studies. My name is Elliot That's Wright, fine. and my concentration is art as a social mechanism. Hi, I'm Georgia, <laughs> and my concentration is dramatic writing and theatrical adaptation. My name is Noah Loyacano, and my concentration is equilibrium or negotiated paradox. Hi, my name what is Sophie Lopez, <laughs> I don't and know. Uh, my concentration is titled Queering and Decolonizing Theater Practice. Wait, queer Hi, my... and decolonizing theater practice. But my po here's what I'm getting at. Wait, 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 wait. That's confusing. Queering and decolonizing theater practice. Yeah, so that means you want it gay and you don't want any white people in it. Is that what that means? I would think so. Colonizing. I mean, colonizers are generally right. You're P white people, right? I'm just saying, when we think of colonizers, anyone can be a colonizer, but usually, eh, America colonized white people, right? So if you're, yeah, so that means you want it to be. But, but, Theater's always been gay. That that's why I'm shocked. But and it's like we're not we're not excluding races. This is here. what I'm like, saying. We're not excluding races. Let's just start here. What the fuck? Where do these people? Th How much did you just pay to have? Where are these jobs? Where are, where and, are and, these jobs? And it's like it seems like they're just making up. They're making up shit. <laughs> they're, they're just, just making, selling shit. They're making up. Like I <laughs> paradox studies, bro. I mean, My hey, if you want, it. it's like wait, they actually have a curriculum with. Those with those words on it that you could be like, this is my concentration. And you and, uh, have they always said concentration? I feel like this. That's is why it. I say they're making shit up. Yeah, like I think they're like actually majoring in sociology, but they're like <laughs> my my, my, my concentration. concentration. Where I concentrate <laughs> is over here. <laughs> I concentrate here, but, but I study this already. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this is just so I can, you know, get a job for the capitalist man. I remember I told my mom I wanted to do sociology. I wanted to be a sociology major. There was no extra things. It was like sociology, sociology major. I was like, yeah, I want to do sociology because I like figuring people out. Like I like understanding, Agreed. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I like to be, I like to get the, to the bottom of you. Yeah. Like I want to understand how you tick. You know what I'm saying? And and so I was like that's what interests me. Not any of these other departments cuz they didn't have a, a film department yet. Uh, so I was like not any of, I just am I and I love character development. I love character work. I love character it's, it's um, all hand in hand. It's me. That's what I love. So like I'm like yeah, I want to do sociology. I didn't want to be a psychiatrist though. I, I but I like to study apart people. My mom said Oh, you want to be a social worker? I said, huh? <laughs> she said, you want to be a social worker? <laughs> and she said, that's fine. She's like, that's a great thing. That's a great commendable job. No, it is. And it my is. mom always know I like money. So it's like, <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, what do you mean? I, I, I do want to help. Ah, I want to help I, people, I wanna but help I, I, I want to be... <laughs> I want to be uh, handsomely compensated as yeah, well. Thank I'm you. Late. So then I switched to business marketing. And, and then my last year, they brought a film major to the school, C Tim, mm. and then I was able to make that my minor. So then I got the business, business marketing and. with a minor in film. Well, that's perfect. It's it crazy. doesn't matter when I think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I mean, that's why I'm. That's why I showed this video because when I saw this, I was dying laughing because I'm like, wait a minute. 
Your average degree that's like a great degree doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> so now you're telling me you're doing <laughs> Press play. Maya and my concentration <laughs> is journalism, oh, colonial studies, and psychoanalysis. Okay. okay. Hi, I'm Eloise. I'm graduating with a concentration in philosophy of science and theater. Very quickly, the have you noticed all the people who either have hood jobs or who are Asian or who are from other places pick sensible because things? Because their parents were like, <laughs> yeah, the fuck? What? <laughs> Gender queering theater? No. You're gonna be a doctor. <laughs> look, look at hers. Wait, wait. Mina, and my concentration is titled The Criminal Mind, which is surrounded on criminology and applied She's gonna technology. get it, you're gonna go to the FBI. Uh, my concentration is international. Not mad at her. And fashion and sustainable development. A yeah. nice That's, little great. That's great. Yes. That's hilarious. Uh, it's your, great. your guy went to sleep during the Memorial Day speech. Have yeah, you seen it? Uncle Joe always sleeping, man. You what are you surprised about? <laughs> Yo, buddy, what, this, ain't, this ain't nothing new. He's actually you you actually at this point, because everywhere I go, everyone says we have to vote for vote Joe Biden. Oh, you, because you, if, you must. You, you, we can't talk bad about Joe Biden because no. if you talk bad about Joe Biden, then that'll lead people to Trump. So I'm like, you can't criticize the president because no no it, no you somebody can't. else so all i want to say is with that being said i think it's um a talent to be able to fall asleep <laughs> on a stage on a stage that means you're extremely comfortable and you you you're you're you're, comf you're comfortable you're comfortable and you're able to just these are his people he's not worried and he's not doing this because i find myself doing oh no no no, no. i never saw him do that this is not sleep that's i think that Trump could never. No. No. I he think, doesn't have it in him. I think that is actually a, a great show of power. No, it, it is. It's, it's, I'm unfazed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're saying all this Memorial Day stuff? That's cool, buddy. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Y'all call me when y'all ready. When you need me? I, I, I'm not supposed to be here until... <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all niggas got me here early? <laughs> When you tell me to come to set, be ready for me. Did you see Will Smith do that? No. You didn't see do Will Smith? He snapped. It's on his YouTube. He, uh, it, I don't know if it'll take it. It'll probably take a second to find it, but it's on his YouTube. It could, and that was the thing that scared me about his YouTube, because I always was scared of Will Smith, because like he's too, ha-ha, yeah. yeah. So it's like behind the scenes, I've always felt like. What does he look like he, when he snaps? Yeah. yeah. And the YouTube kind of started showing it it was little shit like when he would pick on scotty his his right hand man this guy with the dreads he's always with him uh -huh. he would just always scare him they would be in like the louvre and he'd hide behind something to be like <laughs> scotty scotty be like ah and it's like eventually i know scotty's sick of that but scotty just has to keep laughing oh yeah because because scotty's son goes to private school everybody's good yeah. So it's little shit. That that's micro. That's not a thing. But then one day they were shooting this thing on a track and Will Smith came and they were like, Oh, we don't know what happened. Something happened with the camera. We just have to fix it. And he said, <laughs> Listen, you don't call me. I, I <laughs> Until okay, you understand? It was you that you don't and that was I, it was half pursuit of happiness with the yeah, yeah, I I can see it. Yeah, now. yeah, and yeah. it was like like some like you don't call like <laughs> it's supposed to be done <laughs> when you call number one, okay? Like he's like if it's not you, <laughs> okay. Damn. And well. then the next episode he quit. <laughs> like he shut. Like it was like oh really? Like he so wait, this down. is a, like a new show. You know he's always doing different shows on you. He has like five shows. Like, was, was this after th this post table talk? I think this was pre table talk. He hasn't. He doesn't really do shit on his YouTube anymore. Oh, well, because okay. remember there was a moment when he was like heavy, heavy yeah. like in TikTok, it. YouTube, Take everything. Like, and I had never seen someone be so good so fast. Now, have you? We know. He, he hired will. the best. He hired the best, and he's will. And he had he was trying to sell that Gemini Man software shit he had. Oh my god! 
trying to move he that was shit. Posting, like he was going crazy. The special effects and shit. He was just going. Yeah, he was going nuts. His and Facebook was probably jumping. Oh my god, that's you can give my wife a show. <laughs> you need to have that. Why not? Why not? How could this possibly go wrong? Ah! <laughs> When I worked the when he jumped into the Grand Canyon, I told you that, right? I worked that shit. Oh yeah, and the, they uh, all showed up. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not talking about that. Uh, I don't <laughs> want to talk about that anymore. But um, no, it was just amazing how much of a production and how much YouTube paid for him to jump into the canyon, mm -hmm. and it was like they repaved, <laughs> they repaved the roads to the Grand Canyon for this Will Smith shoot. And I was like, this is a national monument. Like, this is like, wow. And Will Smith comes and, and they'll, they'll repave. We'll repave the road to get to the Grand Canyon. Like, he leaves and infrastructure is better. Well, you know what, though? That's why I'll never hate him. Oh, no, you know. But I, I think, now that I think about it, though, it's a double edged sword. The Grand Canyon on YouTube, some, however, someone got money for him to do this. We know Will Smith comes. We know others will come. We're going to need to repave this fucking road anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Will Smith. I leave it better when I left. <laughs> I'll leave I, it better I than it. I found it. Then I found it. Why not? Wow. The... <laughs> The range, the, the, just not, just not the Oscars though. Uh, have you he got it? one? <laughs> uh, bro, he, look, he left it better than he found it. <laughs> no matter what anyone ever says to me, I like Chris Rock. Oh yeah, but you like you love Will Smith more. To this is to smack a nigga on the widest stage in the world. <laughs> it's the because he says something about your wife. Then going back to your seat, sitting down, not being removed because what's this fucking Will Smith? What the fuck you want me to do? And then 10 minutes later, going back on stage to win your first Oscar and blame all of your rage on Venus and Serena's father. That's the hardest shit I've ever seen in my life, nigga. I ain't never seen nothing harder than that's, that. That's nigga. a mafioso shit. This nigga said, this nigga got up there and said, I was when I was playing that man. <laughs> I felt the spirit. But the crazy part was He's not dead. He wasn't beating nobody up. That nigga was chilling. He got his he ass got beat his ass trying to take the girls to go and play some tennis. And it's funny. It was a great movie. And I, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is his This is it. Yeah. I was like, he did it. Yes. I, I was literally watching it. I was at a film festival. I was at one of the films. I was in Utah. I was in. I was, I'm viewing the movie. I was like, oh, he did it. He fucking. Will Smith got it. Yeah. And he did get it. And he, and he went out with a bang. Oh, he did. I don't ever need another one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, fact. I'm doing Bad Boys 4, bitch. I was so happy also when he did it because I was like, he's going to have to do Bad Boys for the rest of his life. Hey, nigga. Because there's no more Me Oscar and Martin. bait. Me and Martin. Me and Martin. <laughs> Me and Martin. <laughs> Martin. To the wheels off. Who don't want to just every and year? I know, I know Martin's just like, fuck. I bet you after he saw that, he was like, now this nigga going to call me trying to do another bad boys. I told him I don't want to do no more. But he keep Dirty, offering he keep me more money. More money. <laughs> he keep giving me more fucking money. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with you no more, man. God damn it. I'm tired of this shit. Martin, can we talk about Martin? He looks tired. Martin looks very tired. It, it, when I see him, it, it sucks too because he's a huge Martin fan. Everyone, even if like he's not your favorite... We all love yeah, Martin. Yeah, and his, his his level of physical comedy, his level love of Martin. comedy in general. And yeah, when you do see him, it does look like he's he's a, l a little slow, reactionary slow. Like it's not it's not the same. Even when he cracks certain jokes, it's, it's just not. I, at first, I thought it was, oh, yeah, this nigga's just tired of doing that. Mm -hmm. But now it's just starting to feel a little bit like, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's health things. Or I think, I mean, I know health has happened, but also, you know, he had that situation where he had, I think, like a breakdown or something when he was running around. He had a stroke, he right? He had a stroke. Mm -hmm. Those will really affect you. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if that, like, was, like, the factor in how he moves and how he reacts to things. But, like, yeah, something, like, he's just 
different. Like, mm -hmm. and of course you get older and everything, but it's still like, it's if you watch yeah. Deaf Comedy Jam, well, like look at Eddie. What's going Eddie's on? Eddie's not. Eddie hasn't slowed down at all. But that's what I'm saying. I think Eddie's. I don't think Eddie has had the same. But case. Eddie is, has a little bit. Eddie's not the same either. And like I know with like with that's age, just age. That's though. just age. You yeah, think that's just, I think Eddie's just age. Eddie is just like I don't know. Well, yeah, it's age. It's just age. But with Martin, it's age, and I feel like a little something else. But Eddie is just age. Like, but Eddie is just like shit's not funny to him. Like like he nothing you say is fun. Like shit's not funny to him. He, yeah. But he's just also so cool now. Like he's just well also. I'm funny as hell, and I can't say half the things that I find funny. So I'm chilling. Like I think he that's really, Eddie really Murphy's can't. thing. He can't. He can't. the The same stand up that made that man a living legend. If he did it today, that well now the tide is turning a little bit. But if he did it today, and he like people would have a problem with it because he is a household name. Like you got to remember, there's some uh, like even the Michael. Remember the uh, the what was it? The gay uh, fire. <laughs> But like even like dumb shit like that, like there's a gay or non-binary kid who watched Haunted Mansion, and now it's like I hate Eddie Murphy. Like it's like some J.K. Rowling shit because he's just too same with like a Kevin Hart. If Kevin Hart started saying the jokes Kevin Hart probably be saying at home, he would be done as a movie star. But JK, he'd be one of the funniest in the world. J.K. just be going too hard. It's like she be double and triple. Like, yo, it's like bro. <laughs> She's, she's we like, know where you stand and she was like yeah but also they are not men and you're like no one asked you jk wrote like stop bro speaking of you're fucking harry potter up for everyone didn't you uh we were just talking about film festivals right did you see uh carla sofia gascon wins best actress award at the Cannes film festival <laughs> A todas las personas trans que estamos sufriendo todos los putos días. El odio. El odio. Y el... Y denigran como nos denigran, ¿no? Esto es para vosotras. Muchísimas gracias. Mañana, seguramente, esta noticia que veis aquí estará llena de comentarios de gente terrible diciendo... Las mismas cosas de siempre a todas nosotras. Solamente quiero mandar un mensaje de esperanza y con esto termino. So, you know, she's making her pledge of, but yeah. What do you have to say? Best Actress Award. What do you have to say? You know, it's, I'm, I, it would suck if you were in that category and you were just, you know, born a certain, you know, bio, bio, biologically that way. That would be very unfortunate. That's all I got to say. That's, that's your piece. I support trans women in everything they do. I love trans women. I love trans men. I love trans people. I love gay people. I love non-binary people. I support everything that they do and everything they're trying to do. Now, with a trans woman being um, in the uh, uh, best actress category, what category would she be in? Touche. So, what category would she be in? Fair. Where is she represented? Well, can in they any not? Way? Can they? Do, 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 do can you, they get? A, we're we're not own. even in a world where we can talk about it. People are fucking attacking Dwayne Wade right now. Yeah, because for he, do, making a safe space for his trans daughter. Like he did a fucking thing. Where oh, they, I know. Where they made? Oh, you saw? Oh, it, I've was, seen it. Yeah. So no, explain. And it, people, people are people. okay. So Dwayne Wade made like a, a social network or something like that for uh, gay children and everything like that, so they could have a safe base to be and um, to communicate and get resources. And I went into um, the tweet that I saw about it, and it was just awful. People just being so mean and hateful and so like awful. And they were like, "This is the devil's work." He's he da da da. da. He's it's like, and I'm over here like. What the fuck is he supposed to do? Beat his daughter? Like, beat? Yes. What the fuck is he? First of all, I think the first step in all of that, if someone is, if your uh, child is saying they are a girl and they are this and they are that, and you keep on forcing, no, you are him. And they're like, no, 
I am a girl. You could talk to them about it and everything like that. But it's like, if they are a girl, yes, what Dwayne Wade is doing, okay, that is my daughter. It starts with respect. Okay. I think that goes into a conversation in that space, <clears throat> which I can definitely stand on more comfortably. Um, yeah, I don't, I think trying to determine how you sexually uh, identify in the world before you're old enough to be having sex. I, I don't sexually think... identify. Well, okay. She's, it's not about sex. It's, I think that she feels like a girl. She's never felt and she feels comfortable. I think a lot of people, I think like back in the day when people had to like totally hide who they were. No, that's, and like, that's and why. And be castrated why, yeah. and like, you know, and, and not like, they but had I think, no type of representation but I also like think, that. I also think though, uh, a child can't get a tattoo. A child can't drive a car. A child you don't have can't... to treat them like shit. Who said childhood. time out? Who I'm not said saying like you... shit. I'm not saying no, you. but you're taking it to one extreme. That's all I'm getting. Okay. At. You're saying you were going from saying, hey, I'm not going to let you be a girl at 11 or 12 before you can really make solid decisions on your life. Uh -huh. I wouldn't put you in charge of anything before this age. Let's just be real. We weren't making decisions even go personally wasn't even going places by myself doing anything until I was like. 15 14 15 like with friends and all those kinds of things so you're just really becoming aware of at all of who you are at that age so what do you what do you do like if the child is like this is who i am so now you're saying i can't be who i am then i just won't be who i am around you no i don't think it's that i think it's being able to have a healthy conversation with your child about okay look there's certain things because you got to remember children have phases bro so not every child, I'm, and mind you, there might be a percentage. I won't say might. There are. There is a percentage that it's really like, nope, nope. They feel that way. That's one hundred percent. This is not. They're not being. Uh, they're not being persuaded by the internet. They're not being persuaded by people around them. This is how they were fucking born. One hundred percent. I believe that. But children are also some of the most impressionable people in the world, which is also why fucking toy companies market to them. Which is why they multiple things on television and all these things they want to get your kids so what i all i'm saying is i think that certain decisions need to be held to a later age but i i i i hear you i i just don't think that like okay so you have that conversation with them and they're just being honest with you or whatever or they hide it and then they tell you at this right. certain age or they be honest with you and you have that conversation and then okay so now you support press it into no there isn't age. a suppressing it is a well we're obviously i'm not gonna let you physically change yourself no i'm, I'm gonna... i have no problem with not putting uh if you, i have no problem with not putting anybody through any changes of themselves until they are the age to drink and smoke and yeah. go to war at least and do all that like, you, you yes, know what i'm saying yes. like I'm but, so I'm so fine, if I'm your fine child's with telling the... you i feel like this and so i want pu puberty blockers that is what i feel like and you're you're not validating how i feel and i want to uh, dad i'm a girl but i want testosterone and i want to start taking this at 12 13 years old that's so, that you got to just let then you let have the conversation if you're not the person that's willing to do that mm -hmm. um then then you, you because it also you are you castrating a... your child when you do that well, that's what. I, but what I'm saying, you have to remember that. I think. Well, castrating is cutting their dicks off. No, or, but I'm saying or, you're castrating because when you do those things, you can't detransition from certain surgeries. You can't. No, I. I don't know. You'll never be able to have children again. That's more what I'm. Getting you can't. At. No. I don't know. Yeah. So I. I just know that if someone wants to transition, I think that is fine to not pay for a sex transition or anything like. Hey, I I love you. I support you. I'm gonna ride with you. We're gonna do all the re we're gonna do all of the research together. We're gonna do the work together. I think my whole thing. Yeah, you're just saying so it like a nigga who's not a... gonna talk to his kid though. I'm talking about a person who sits there, says this, has the conversation. Yeah. That still doesn't mean though that we're that 
you are a child. I cannot completely fall into your narrative because there are children who think they are Spider-Man. Like, I'm just being real with you. And that is no, I'm not, that's not a fucking joke. I, there, are, I remember I went through phases as a kid. I thought, oh, I'm going to do, I'm like this. I'm da, da, da. That shit sometimes lasts a week. That shit sometimes lasts a year. Sometimes that shit and lasts that's, a couple And months. that's fine, but you have to have the conversation. Yes, you can't 100%. Shun, you can't, but you also can't make their feelings feel valid, invalid. Like that that's what I'm saying. Like I see what you're doing. I, I, I'm saying like you can't like yes, you can be like, babe, this might be a phase. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know, you know, and then you'd be like, Well, you know, when I was in college, I thought and then, you know, you have the whole thing. You can hit them with like life lessons and be like, Hey, but it's like you I just my biggest thing is not invalidating their feelings and not invalid not making them feel like they're insane. Not making them feel like they're wrong. Okay, so now not here's my question. Them feel here's like my question. Devil's advocate. What though. they're doing is Okay, is, I feel that and that I understand. I never disagreed with that. I never said you'd be like, What the fuck are you doing? I never said that. Like, yeah. so I like I agree. It's a conversation. I agree it's a it's a uh it's a whoa. Okay, let's sit down. Let's figure this out. Let's let me try to figure out where this is coming from. Let me figure mm -hmm. out if there is outside influence. Let me see if I'm just not ignoring things because I've just chosen to. Like, there's a lot of. I agree. I agree. But I, here's the only thing I was gonna put. I was I was just gonna play devil's advocate. Statistically speaking, mm -hmm. statistically, and this is not a shot at anyone. Statistically. The same way you say, yeah, you can't make them feel like they're insane. Do you statistically believe that there has never been a person who was insane who felt this way, but who was so I'm young? No, 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 no. This is what. No, it's. I'm saying statistically. I'm all I'm getting at is the same way that we can't negate one thing, you can't negate another. Because what I'm saying is, my child could also actually have other issues as well that add on to this feeling. So, but we we but all things have to be paid attention to. That's not a blanketed statement. I said my child could have the same. There could like you have to look at things as, in my opinion, you have to look at things as first off, I'm an adult. The decisions I make for my child today can affect the rest of my child's life. Mm -hmm. Even when my child gets older and doesn't shit, think about it this way. Even all the conversations we had prior to this, mm -hmm. think of how many decisions were probably made without you even knowing it, but to set you up for where you are now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, that's not your responsibility to do yet because I have to protect you. Mm -hmm. Now, invalidating, no. Dis, uh, not disowning. Wa disowning, not wanting to have the conversation. That's, dis no. that's nasty. To no, me. that's what, like, no, that's I fucked like, up. That's, that's fucked like, up. That's yeah. that shit. Like, you didn't deserve to have a child if you wouldn't love that child how that child is. I agree. No, I'm not saying that. You can't talk, but like, you know, no, love, you hate yourself. <laughs> like, you're right, literally but hating I also, yourself. But I also could see things in my child where I see, hey, once again, if I, there, one, you, statistically, how many kids were just impressionable? And, yeah. at a, and like I say, at a certain age. Now, I don't think a motherfucker who's 35 years old been living this lifestyle since they were 25. Is, no, that's a different. How that's do different. you stop them? How do you? Yeah. OK. I think that's lack. I think that's lack of. Uh, I think part of it is if you're not the kind of parent you're describing because you probably haven't a been giving your child enough attention. You probably haven't been giving your child enough understanding about things. I'm just getting at the yeah, larger. Scope. I mean, there are. Parents who aren't there, there are parents who are right. Yeah, there's always gonna be that's all I'm that. saying. There's always gonna be those things, but it's just but like, we're trying to create a blanketed I think you're focusing. For... No, I think my thing is it's like if they say, Hey, I'm I feel this way, uh -huh. what do you what do you what do oh, you do? You have the com you just have a conversation, you figure out why they feel this way. How long have they felt this way? What are the reasons? And then you act accordingly. How, what is the act accordingly? Like, what does what that entail? You, uh, you allow them freedoms to explore in a certain space. And when I say a certain space, I mean, you, you set barometers in your mind, but you allow them. And then if this seems to be something that they want to, because the other p piece of it is, I don't... <sighs> Because children are impressionable, and this is why the children one is very big to me, because like since children are impressionable, 
I don't also want to give my child free reign and then they go out into the world and then they get this uh, blanketed uh, mm -hmm. virtue signaled appreciation and oh you're so uh, but that they wouldn't have gotten otherwise and I don't want them to di like uh, what's the word not understand what that is because yeah. you're a child so all gratification is good gratification yeah. all of it there you don't see anything behind it you don't realize oh maybe people are only doing this because of this no you just think everybody thinks you're the best when you walk in the room and now maybe you take that for granted and you don't go build some skills elsewhere so that you can be valued by society on your own merit because you are a confused child all children are confused all children we don't fucking know we've been on this planet for how many years 10 11 years we're still a lot of times when we talk we realize we're still children we're still figuring shit yeah, out it, every day it's amazing to amazing me, right? Like you, you think your mom, your parents, they know everything. Like when you're that's a my, little child, exactly. And and but that's also like, and them niggas over here while you a kid, like hey, I'm figuring this shit out. But that's also like you're their first instance of pain. You're their first instance real pain. Of, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You're their first instance of acceptance. You're their first instance of what love is supposed to be. Right. You're their first instance for everything. So it's like, if you hurt that baby, if you hurt that child mm -hmm. when they you're they're looking for your love that you've always given them. If you're a good loving parent, right? Exactly. You're looking for the love you've always given them, but now something's a little bit different about myself. And then you try to sway them or make them feel uncomfortable. I'm not saying that's what you're, yeah. yeah. But I'm and you try to sway them, make them feel uncomfortable, or make them feel like they're not enough or they're not doing what you want or like, it's like, that's a forever hurt. Mm -hmm. No. And that's fair. That's fair. Like, but that once again, I think that's because most people in general don't have the, don't have any real sit downs and com conversations with their kids. And see, but that's the thing. And that's I just a bigger kids, issue in general. But see, like I'm going to be so open with my children that I want my kids to, to talk to me about everything like and and like having my sisters has been like the biggest like ch challenge for me right right because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they talk to you about everything and you're like oh, oh fuck stop no, I feel please like, yeah. stop oh my i love my girls and like they, I think that we are at a great place where we are open with each other and tell each other all our shits. And sometimes it hurts, and sometimes it goes a little beyond where you're. When one my sister, I, uh, she felt so comfortable, too comfortable, a little too fucking comfortable, bro. Ah! And 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 then after it, I'm like. Why would <laughs> yeah. I love you? <laughs> Listen, it, it's just one of those things. It's it's definitely tough. We know that, and like, yeah, I just feel like a lot of times people don't uh, don't don't fix that. It's gonna be a lot of this guy, this fucking. Guy. It's, it's my. I'm making my voice. I just feel like it's. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> this guy. Uh, but no, I just feel like, yeah, I, I definitely understand that. But I think it's more of a, we, we do see a picture of what not full acceptance look like, looks like. And I think, and this is what I'm saying, we don't really see a picture of like, because you only either hear the amazing accepting stories or you hear the fucking terrible ones. You never see the person who's just like, hey, hey, hey okay, I get it. Hey, we can try this out. I won't lie though. I wouldn't let my trans daughter wear clothes that I wouldn't let if I had a biological daughter that I wouldn't let wear. You feel me though? Yeah, it's, that's fine. Right, but I, but I 
I've seen. You're gonna be do what you. I've that's, seen. I, that's, I'm not gonna. That's my and point. Though, but those are those people. Like I'll yeah. let them. You still can have boundaries. You can still right. be a dad. But you see, can still. That's all I'm getting at, though. But see, and you it, still gotta bring your it, ass home at 9 p.m. At certain times, people blur these boundaries, and that's all I'm getting at. Because you're still my child. That's all I'm saying. Because people want to be so fully accepting, and they want to show. Like once again, it's not even that they want to be fully accepting. Yeah. They want to show no i'm gonna still do my parental styles That's like you saying. still are fucking grounded i you but still i think that gets i do think you don't think that ever gets muddled though i think these those are the, i think those are um you know how everything's a spectrum i think those are extreme people on the spectrum that are like yeah honey you can just yeah do whatever like, i love like no get your ass home at 8 30 right um and, and what the why are you what? no that that's my no, point. go yeah. put some clothes on right that's my daughter that's my son that's my gay daughter that's my gay son mm, that's my you. trans yeah. daughter that's my trans son is why are you wearing fishnets put that go take your ass and that, and that's my but see that's my point and i think even that gets muddled in the what our perception which is a whole nother conversation but what our perception even is of a woman in general which is once again, it turn it can turn very quickly into what you just said, and it's like, wait, 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 wait. It's I don't. No, I think people. I think um, I think that look, and we're talking about kids once again. So that's my point. Yeah, no, I understand exactly. What Listen, man, I think that I think I am. I think that every I, you have to be. I love you, accept and everything. There's also like. You can have a baby. You can't have a baby. Like that's right. like that's a. It's an obvious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But then it goes down back to my respect thing that I was saying. It's like yes, we know you're not a biological woman. You cannot have a baby. Like no, that mm -hmm. that yes, that's right. you. You don't have a period. Yes, those are facts. You can have a baby. You can, but you have to. You still don't have to disrespect the person for the the choose. I'm not talking about you. No, I'm not. I'm listening. I'm okay, listening. yeah. If, I don't think you ever have to disrespect a person for what they choose to um, identify as. Like if if they say that they are a woman, okay, like it's fine. You know that. Like I I don't I don't. Are you? Did you pull up a point? Are you pulling? No. Did you? Uh, did you no. <laughs> I thought you pulled up. I'm a just video saying or it's 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 once again, and this kind of ties it back to where we were, and then we'll go somewhere else. But this just ties it back to how we even started. Mm -hmm. You're right. I don't think it fucking matters. That's your freedom of choice. Like mm -hmm. who cares if you're a cool person? You're a cool person, right? But now, and this is <laughs> this is what J.K. Rowling be standing on, which is kind of like, but then when it does interfere with other people's trajectories for example whoever whoever else was up for this situation yeah. or up for this role at con it, maybe it would have been their moment but no so all, i'm just getting at when it intersects just like uh what was the remember the swimmer leah thomas or whatever mm. same idea it's yeah, like but i feel like they would say the same thing they said the same thing like i feel like they said a lot of the same shit people about black say people about, yes okay. i feel like a lot i'm sorry okay i just feel like a lot of the same shit that people say I hear you. about um trans people it just sounds like the same shit that white people would say about black folk no i like, I, I see, see your, there's I see a your nigger point. in the i see and, and it should have gone to a good white woman that shouldn't have been i understand where you're getting at but yeah. i feel like there's um i got it in me too man i you know there i i have there's still so much like um uh i don't want to use this word uh what's it called <laughs> Masculine? Was it toxic, toxic masculinity? Well, you know, what's I funny? feel like there is. I, I, I. Masculinity I, by nature is, is fucking toxic. toxic. Yeah, I know. They, they just, they just put the. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so. But I feel it's like there's still like I still have prejudices in me, and like course, I still like yeah. have my jokes and everything, and every, and it's like, like I, 
like I support trans, like I support gay, I support everything, but I also support Dave Chappelle being able to make fun of everyone. Like mm-hmm. I like yeah. I I like uh Louis C K and or um or Kill Tony mm-hmm. or um um uh white guys that make jokes about <laughs> black people. <laughs> I think that shit's hilarious. Right. If like, they word it right. Yeah. If the worded, timing's right. That yeah, shit's right. funny as hell. Right, right, right. It's like, um, you know, Bill Burr. I love Bill Burr. Yeah. And he has such great black bits. Like, it's like. Black bits. Yeah. I, <laughs> Don't I, touch my black bits. <laughs> I just feel like, you know. Speaking I, of people who make great black bits. Oh have you seen the South Park Lizzo? <laughs> I saw Lizzo watching. Yeah, I, yeah, we South all saw that. Park that was way, way to get in front of it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I, but you better be happy. You better not be mad. All I'm saying is everybody's been made fun of Black uh, South Park by South Park. So mm. it's like it's honestly an honor. Like they call Kanye a gay fish. Oh yeah, no. If you if South Park comments on you, you're making waves. You're the man. You're making waves. R. Kelly, Tom Cruise. Michael what Jackson, kind of Jennifer yes. Lopez. Which of the drugs are you on, Sharon? Ozempic, Manjaro? Oh no, I talked to my doctor. He said insurance would only pay for those if I had diabetes. I... <laughs> if you can't afford them, then how are you managing your weight? Don't you know, Sheila? Now there's a whole new obesity drug for those of us who can't afford Ozempic and Manjaro. I've controlled all my cravings to be thinner with Lizzo. <laughs> It's Lizzo. FDA approved Lizzo makes you feel good about your weight, and it costs ninety percent less than Ozempic. I've lowered my standards and my expectations. It's Lizzo. In case studies, so- that's hilarious. Yeah, uh, you you don't find it funny? No, uh, I watched this so many times yesterday. I laughed so hard oh, at you're watching out her. Or- Watch it. Oh, yeah. Did you also notice the tacticality of the video? I realized, like, because I'd be making clips and shit, just even things like this. Like, oh, of course you're not going to have your hair done. Of course you're going to record from the literally the worst angle possible. No, but it's all great for the clickbait of what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Oh, and then, you know, I, I get it. I, I get it. Hey, I'm glad she took it in stride because I'm, yeah. I would have had jokes if she got mad. Mad. Oh, yeah. But uh, she knew. She knew. And, she, uh, she, she could feel it in the air. Yeah, like, what you gonna say about <laughs> South Park? They made a joke about Muhammad. You're not supposed to show Muhammad in any type of media at all. The the Prophet Muhammad in uh, the Quran or whatever. Oh, really? You're not supposed to show the Prophet <laughs> Muhammad. They sketched him out, drew him, put him on the air of the episode, and the only reason that he's not in it is because... It's Comedy Central, Central put a black bar over I Muhammad. It. And um, so it's like, come on. They came out of whole religion. The religion that'll kill you. Yeah. Oh, and Scientology. They, they the religion that will kill, kill you. Oh, that's the I thought you were talking about the other one. Oh! oh them. <laughs> <laughs> they will all kill you. Every last one of them will kill you. And it's so funny because people are probably be up in arms like, what do you mean the religion that'll kill you? All the motherfucking religions will yeah, kill you. True. Scientology will kill you. Uh, uh, Muslim, uh, Muslim will kill you. Christians will kill you. Goddamn, Buddhist is pretty chill. <laughs> they gotta let you, kind of let you. They let you ride. Yeah. You can show Buddha all the time. Yeah, he wanted to be seen. You know, yeah. big ass nigga. I, I'm sure though. He's like, why the fuck do people put me in bathrooms? Like, I don't belong here. I, this is not where I belong. No, no. I am the shit though. I. Boots. <laughs> he did it. Nah. I, I always say if I ever just found a new religion or like decided I was going to venture off the beaten path, I always thought like maybe I do like or I want to study Buddhism. That's like a, a dope religion I feel like would be beneficial. Yeah. Zen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Rooted in some good stuff. The Hold other on. lawyer just hit me back. Uh oh. So also he got the email from the other guy. <laughs> did, you, did you see Robert De Niro talking shit? The musicology hit me back. Yeah, let's see. And elections, forget about it. That's <laughs> over. That's done. If forget he gets about in, it. I can tell you right now, he will never leave. I think that might he be will true. Never leave. I, when he said this, I was like, you know ah. that. 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, he never. will never leave. What does that mean? Is that the country we want to live in? Do we want him running this country forever and saying, I'm not leaving? I'm dictator for life? Yeah, I believe. I... Yeah, but I also feel like those. those... No, 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 no. I don't. What? He can die. Like, yeah, of course. But also, it's illegal to say anything about like the president and death. Like, oh. yeah. So, um, 50... like, it's super illegal. Okay. So, 53 <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, it's like, there's only like a couple phrases you're not allowed not to say. say. Thank you for, I didn't know. That. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to <laughs> handle that in the edit. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, but no, I that's actually been a genuine concern because, like, no matter how funny he is to me and everything like that, he's hilarious but to me. I don't, I just want the lulls. But the thing about it is, it's like, I really do think he won't leave. No, I think he'll like he'll, that is like a a, a a real possibility. I think he'll eyes. give an. I I think he would give will give a problem, a major problem in the leaving. In the uh, yes, I and believe that's that, a problem, right? But I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they'd let it get that far. They raided. They raided the oh. capital. You are gangsters. You are gangsters. You are Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It's nice to see De Niro saying like, well, we, I, we've always loved Rob. Has he ever been problematic? Like, Who, De ever? Yeah, De Niro. Nah, he's cool. He's never. He just he just really hates Trump. That's like the only. Yeah, yeah. like this is the only thing he's coming out for. And honestly, it's oh. like, nah, he won't leave. Pro Frank is just, just apologize for using a homophobic. <laughs> That's what I wanted to bring it back around. Bishop. This comes after the Pope allegedly referred to gay sim <laughs> Frugacci as Frugacini. Fr fr Frugacini or some shit. I don't know how you say that. Is the uh, apology enough? What else is he supposed to house? I there? don't know. But he I guess he was talking about people, you know, in the church like priests being but he did he's they, Oh, he's like, You priests out here fucking the little boy. Yeah, and he's like a bunch of <laughs> and, then, and then it's like, oh right, this is, is a that what it, Okay, if that's the actual See? context, if that's the context, I not See, there are certain words that I like that you. It doesn't have to mean what it. You I know. make it to mean. It's like, like a, who's a, a Louis C.K. had a joke about that. You know? Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. See, it's like the R word. Like I, I usually when I call say, R -R 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 I usually oh, just keep going. I, I usually keep... just. I'm talking about myself, so I hate that. Like I can't be like, oh, I'm such a. I'm such a, I don't know. Can I? I'm such a retard. Oh, like you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh. Like I say that about yeah, myself. I was like, what is? Yeah, okay. And it's like yeah. you're not allowed to say that word anymore. Like at all, even if it's in reference to yourself. And then the only time the f a g g o t word can be used is if a gay it's person a is calling sticks. it. It's a but. <laughs> it's the only time. Remember when a cigarette? They used to in in England. They used to be like, I'm smoking a fog. I'm smoking a fog. Smoking a fog. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> That's not anymore. You can't say that shit. <laughs> Why do we choose to use the it's same? It's such a like, like some words. <laughs> some words just are so like that. That just hit, nigga. <laughs> like, nah, we made nigga, but nigga. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. It's a tough one, but it's like it's so staunch. It's the ER. I think ER is just a staunch. Er, er. And you're just like, I'm I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? It's a like sharp word. And that it's a sharp word. <laughs> like Literally. they did great in crafting it to when it was said, it stabbed I, you a little I bit. I always imagine a bunch of angry white guys and they've said all the things and there's just one guy out there he's just so, he's so engulfed in hate he's just god damn jigaboo what was that when'd you come up with that Tony I don't know I stumbled I don't know. over I just, some words it's just that's a good one I'm gonna use that the next rally and jigaboo just catches just, that is the worst slur ever jigaboo that's the best you got I mean we call them peckerwoods well, see, that's no. So I've I've thought a lot of this through. White people are the only people who don't have good racial slurs because it's like huh? they came up with the rest of them. Yeah. So it's like even like honky, 
No. Cr- yeah, cracker. cracker. Yeah, that's you gotta they- say it. You if you can't say if you say cracker, that don't hit. You gotta say crack ass. Yeah. like you gotta like really but like cracker. Just means you used to beat on me. That is from he the used to crack, a, crack whip. a whip. That's what cracker is from. So they just like yeah yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay and <laughs> like so it's not that bad. Whereas, like, you know, ours are late nigger, lazy person. Cuck. They're useless, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a bad one for her. Cuck. And it's not necessarily It's not theirs. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a, you if have you, to do if an you action, know, you know. An action has to happen <laughs> to, for you to become one. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that's the closest. That but they nobody's called, like, puff a cuck. Because yeah. it's like you use that for white people. Yeah, you don't use that for... You don't use that for black guys. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. See, it's the... But see, but see, it's such a... It's a... It's an underlying thing. We're in it's a not really a rough part. Like, <laughs> like we're in, <laughs> we're, in, we're, in, we're, we're in the hills have eyes territory right now. We're going to we're, 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 is it worth it? Is it, is it? Where are you going next? I, I can get so bad. I don't know. I can't hear because it's words, right? Like we're just talking about the words themselves. We're not using them in an action. You know, one of my favorite teachers. His name was. Uh, you know, you're loading Mr. this Cullen. up. You got something back here because he's like, uh oh, Mr. Cullen. Mr. One Cullen. of my boys. I love Mr. Cullen, man. He walked in. His history teacher. It was like maybe fifth, sixth grade, or something. He walks in. It's my first year of high school. Pushes the door open. He's like, look, I'm here to teach you about history. I'm here to teach you what happened. And if things keep happening again, how they'll keep happening again. He was like, listen, I'm going to say things. I'm going to tell you things. You know what I'm saying? There's so many words that can hurt you. Kite. Nigger. (laughs) (laughs) He literally... He came and just knocked... he he, He literally... He hit like seven... And I was like, I fuck with you, bro. Like, I, I was like, nigga, you just, you just racially other slurred kids say? everyone in the class. What did the other kids say? They were just- I think we were all just like genuinely impressed. Like, no one, and he has 10 years, he's been there. So no, so no, nobody called home? No. And I was like, I thought in my head, I was like, I think that that, that was wrong. <laughs> Try that in 2024. He really, Mr. Cullen. He'd be out of there. I'm sure he's gone. <laughs> there's, he no be, there's no way. There's Cullen no still. way. He, he tried that in 2018. They and said, they said, sir. Dad, dad. I So I went in there and he called me a, a nigger. And he called. Uh, no, th- that was the one they were like. He called eh. to Kim. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. I can't because we're not just yeah, saying the word. Can't repeat now, I can't, it. I can't, yeah, you can't. He called <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Called oh, Mr. S- oh, Goldstein. No, uh, Mr. Goldstein. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, he just came in hard, and I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "This is gonna be chaos." <laughs> and so, like, when he would be in there, like, I've I fuck with him so much. He used to like tell, like, do lessons on like. He used to be like, "You see, Tupac, he's da 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 da, da and he's a gangster rapper, and da da da, but he goes and he went to a da da." And I was like. Well, you're not going to start talking about hip hop and I'm not going to jump right. in this. So it's like, yeah, he went to a good school, but that doesn't mean his parents weren't Black Panthers and his mom wasn't on crack and he didn't live in like he like there were he still had things. You could go yeah. to a good school and still I don't know. Was his mom on crack? What did his mom do? Did his mom do Cuz I don't want to put that on that woman if she didn't. Let me see. I think she had a bout with it or something. Always was a black queen, mama. Even though you was a c- crack fiend, mama. didn't he say that? Yeah. I mean, even was though, that just song? Was that just writing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Shakur worked as a paralegal for a decade before descending into a crack cocaine addiction okay, in okay, the early nineteen eighties. I just needed. I just didn't want to put crack on somebody that didn't yes. do crack. No facts. As you should. Um. Know. Yeah. Thank you for the the the. But yeah, his mom did crack. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean. <laughs> doesn't mean. He 
he's privileged, he's still talking, and he's able to talk about the environment that he's in. Yeah, no fact. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mr. Cullen, shout out, man. You racist son of a bitch. <laughs> you racist piece of shit. <laughs> I love you, man. But, but, I mean, the thing, though, is, I was talking to my dad the other day, and we were discussing this. I was like, man, the funny mm-hmm. thing is, anything that you can't talk about or you can't bring up, that's because there's something deeply, there's a problem with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and a lot of words and a lot of things. I mean, that's kind of why I do sometimes have the stance I do on like how things move in this era. Because it's like, ah, okay, like we can't like mm-hmm. sway too much from like what we just all know is, you know. Uh, I get it, and I I I get it. I agree because it's like I don't. I don't. I don't want my kids reading Huckleberry Finn, not understanding. No, 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 no. That's nigger Jim. That's how they refer to you. It's okay. It'll hurt a little. It'll sting a little bit. But you know what? That's just the top coating, or actually the bottom layer for all the shit you're gonna build up over time. Understanding. Oh, they the world. can't suppress information. Like you right, know but they're saying? but they're trying. They're to. reprinting the books without nigger Jim, and and it's just I. It's the wanting. Wanting people to understand, like, I don't believe it's almost like that Morgan Freeman thing. I do believe that in certain instances, to get over it, we can't always bring up race facts. But I do believe in another instance, though, if we don't, just don't toy with the shit we got already. Because if if we just pay attention and we if we kept all things original, all information, like you said, original. Oh, well, no, you'll just see the things in the world that'll fuck you up. And you'll go, oh, why is this like, oh, no, because, right, there's a history of this, you know? Yeah, 100%. It's just, I'm not going to say it. Uh Uh-oh, what is it? No, I'm not going to say it. Because, no. (laughs) I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But it's always about race. But I'm not going to say it. That's not what I wanted to say, but I'm just going to keep it. All right, yeah. What else are we on? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think, man, I think that's every. I, I got some other shit, but I don't. I don't know what. Uh, T-Mobile. They're buying U.S. Cellular, four point four billion dollars, uh, with the debt. So that's you know that's fun. Uh, and then, oh, Ohio mother sentenced to prison after she admitted to only feeding her four-year-old daughter Mountain Dew out of baby bottles. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew! Carmody Hope died 2022 due to complications with diabetes. Her teeth were rotten by the time she passed. Mama Tamar Banks pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter of her daughter, who she neglected and refused to seek medical help. Insane. Look at this. This is what the the baby's teeth look like. Oh, come on, really, Twitter? She looks like she. Come on, bro. That looks like she only feeds Mountain Dew and Chalupas. That looks like yeah, that's the bro. Mountain. Out of a baby, but look at the teeth. That's how the girl's teeth look. Insane. She died of diabetes. Yeah, because she was like four. Yeah, but she put that much sugar. That's what I'm that saying. Girl. Out of that a baby, body, a ba- bottle. Her body, her body couldn't. Pro- that's so much sugar. It's insane, and it's Mountain Dew. So that's more than just sugar, my nigga. Like your body's the baby mold- is sugar. <sighs> yeah, it was crazy. And then they said apparently uh, it wasn't until she turned blue and stopped breathing that the parents called nine one one. They got thirteen point five years in prison, or she did. <laughs> insane. Ew. Insane. Ew. Yeah, no, nah, that she she looks like that. <laughs> she does look like that. She everything about her. Says yeah, that. nothing <laughs> makes me feel like no. Nah. What this nigga do? So, they were asking him about the uh twenty four billion in homeless spending, and why apparently the money can't be accounted. Yeah, FF Health News. Um, thank you. <clears throat> I have a um recently the state auditor found um that California wasn't doing a great job on tracking its homelessness spending. And um, this isn't a gotcha question. Um, you're doing more than any other governor in the country, really, to, to address this crisis. So I have a two-parter billion. for you. Um, do you acknowledge, Governor, is your administration doing enough 
um, to determine whether the money that's being plowed into homelessness is being well spent? Um, and, and do you worry, I'm curious, do you worry that the appetite is souring among the public for, for spending more given? Uh, one of the, the vaccine issues that was highlighted in the audit was local uh, appropriations, local data collection. And it's difficult uh, at the state level. So basically, um, what he often, is but, saying is they don't know where a lot of these funds went, and it was a problem tracking it locally. So now they're going to <laughs> Congress trying to get more money for the homeless problem other than the $24 billion because what they want to create is a system so they can track the spending this time. The fact I didn't become a politician, I missed out on so much bread. I mean, it's not over. <laughs> you can still. Yeah. Not if I post this episode. Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump made it. And, Ronald and Donald Trump said, grab him by the pussy. I didn't say it on purpose, <laughs> maestro. Shit. <laughs> what? He did say it. It's on. Come on. My whole thing is they got this man in, on on trial for uh, <laughs> paying a sex for paying paying Stormy pussy, Daniels paying Stormy Daniels for some pussy. I'm over here like <laughs> so. <laughs> like, like, We're yeah. shocked here. Like who the fuck cares about what he does? Like well, is uh, if he's paying a porn star, we know exactly what's going on. Let him get his nut off. I don't understand why he's on trial. Because he used campaign funds. Then pay back that little bit of campaign funds. He, didn't, he didn't give a $10 million. Like, come on. Because he wrote legal fees or whatever for that. It was a legal fee. I had to have my lawyer pay the bitch. I, Technicality. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, it's, well, it's just because it's a, it, you know. It, the, the once again the, the always the problem is it's just I wish we were all just a little more reasonable and I wish we were all like hey neither one of these people should be here let's redo this and then they go oh shit we gotta redo this the people don't want it you know that would be an ideal world but that's not the world we live in well I think we covered everything the mic is bored I'm not bored. I'm just seeing how much this motherfucking lawyer is talking about charging me to listen to some fucking music. It's a musicologist, but um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm allowed to disclose legal numbers. No, of course shit. you're not, because we might charge people different prices, and we don't want you fucking that up for us. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, you're right. I should mm -hmm. just say it. You should say it. It's locked in. Then maybe maybe a nigga call you and be like, "What? I only paid twenty five thousand. They listening to the whole album." Yeah, but <laughs> they're winners. You know who I'm. Yeah, on the phone yeah. <laughs> the twenty five hundred. He he might he's not. I know you want it. Hey, hey, hey. I, I know, know you want it. it. Hey, hey, hey. You want yeah. this money? Yeah. A good girl. See, this is too much. We're we're we're. we're, we're. The, the cookie crumbs, bread crumbs. <laughs> you see the motherfucker who knows how to find you by you just taking a picture, like you're just in your hotel room, and you'll be like, "You'll never find me." And then the guy's like, "Actually, it took me one hour to find you. You were in Washington D.C. on Parson Street. You've never seen no. those." What is this it's guy like, on? <laughs> That's insane. Uh, the here, guy that finds you. Through your pictures. Guy finds people's location through pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the internet. Oh, yeah, this is him. Send uh, it through. I'm sending you Cash App. I mean, not Cash App. Cash App? I'll take it's, it. No, fuck off. I'm sending <laughs> you through. Uh, it's, it's TikTok. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm not yeah. logged in on my iPad. Now. Okay. Oh, god damn it. See, it's it's you know what? I think I think we I think we've done enough. Okay. But it's crazy. They'll be in the middle of the woods, and they'll be like, "Well, that that plant only grows on the southwest of this, 
And I looked here. So that nigga never leaves his house, and he just be on the computer. No, but he's probably an FBI asset or something like that. Uh, he does it for fun. Yeah, this is just like his fun thing. Like, he's definitely someone with assets. <laughs> he also can, like, text you and be like, yeah, I know your last 10 text messages. He yeah. just doesn't do it. He just doesn't. Yeah. You know <laughs> he's what just saying? like, ah, nah, nigga, hey, I found you. Ha ha. I just saw what you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye. I know why you're at that hotel, and your wife wouldn't be happy. But you're just on the corner of... <laughs> <laughs> No! Yeah. There are people out there like that, and there's also machines out there like that. They already got us. It's done. Yeah. It's no longer a conspiracy theory. Remember when Will Smith did. Yes, yeah, yeah. Barbara Walters? <laughs> and, he said, Yo. and he said he believed that the. Well, I don't. This. Uh, Bye. Whole okay. Yet. Bye, guys. Peace. <laughs> Enemy of the state. That's it. it okay. All right.